stay here. We gotta get out of this place. We gotta move fast. You gotta hold my hand and move exactly where I move, okay? Okay. Now, come on. Come on. You gotta avoid the lights. Now, this way, this way. Come on, keep moving. We're back with Kurt and Wyatt Russell. That was another clip from Monarch. So, what people who haven't watched the show might not know from the clip, you play the same character at different parts of your life in the show, so you actually didn't get to shoot any scenes together. No. We shot one, but it was not used. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no chemistry? Yeah. Like, they just don't seem like they like each other. It was a chance. <laughs> <laughs> and did you, was it pitched to you guys as, hey, you, you know, obviously this makes sense, You're gonna, you look enough alike that it would make sense that you'd be two people in different times? Yeah, our, we, have this, we have the same agent, um, and he called and he was like, hey, you know, this is an idea. Ron across the casting director said, you know, had this great idea. And so we sort of thought, I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe it could be. It could be the worst idea of all time, too. <laughs> um, and as we went down the rabbit hole, you know, we, we started thinking it might be a good idea. Yeah, we, we did. We, we'd, we'd had the opportunity to play a father and son before. Um, no, nothing really struck our fancy. And, uh, you know, just because we're all in our family, a lot of us are in the same business, and we just kind of go down our own paths. And, uh, but yet, I think everybody in the family, we'd all, we'd all like to work with each other at some time or another. And this was a different kind of an opportunity to be able to play the same person. It was also very challenging because you're not playing father and son. You're playing the same person. And I found myself going down to Wyatt's set, uh, watching him, and I realized, yeah, this is interesting. I, I stopped watching Wyatt and I started just watching the actor, and I said, this guy's good, man. It's like, better <laughs> <laughs> old. I gotta, Thanks, Dad. I gotta, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, bet, your, bet your dad called you Tiger. <laughs> but I said, you know, yeah, I gotta, I gotta. I got to see what he's doing here and, and kind of continue it on many, many, many years later. It was cool because, uh, like, I'd, I, we've been asked a lot, what did you learn about your dad? Or what did your dad learn? It's like, well, I didn't really learn anything about my dad because I, 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 all I ever knew was my dad. And he's the truth teller. He tells me the truth. It's really boring, but, like, it's the way life is, and it's amazing for me because I never had to second-guess things. And all I ever remember is he was doing Tombstone, and... There was a room, a hotel room. We, we, we were, I was there for probably three or three weeks, maybe. What were you, nine years old? Eight, seven. Seven, seven yeah. And <clears throat> there was a couch, and he put me to sleep on the couch. It was like 3 a.m., and uh, they'd gotten done with a long day of shooting. He goes, smoking cigarettes at the table, starts writing. And he was, like, writing for a couple hours. Then he'd go to sleep, wake up, and I was like, oh, I guess that's what you do when you work. You just smoke <laughs> cigarettes and write. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so... All I ever knew was the passion and energy that he brought to it, and seeing other people get to see that at this, now at his age, which is a very youthful 47. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that, that, like, it was just really cool for me, able to, me to see like, people go, oh, wow, holy S-H-I-T. Kurt Russell really is the real deal. Yeah. So that was, that was cool for me. That's really awesome. And one of the nice things about this, uh, uh, sometimes press is hard for actors, but you, because you didn't shoot together, this is the nice part. You actually yeah. get to go out and hang out. This is the most time we've got to spend with each other since he was playing hockey. Wow. Um, and in Vancouver, yeah. even before he went, yeah, you know, long before he went into college. So you, college were, uh, you were both Kurt uh, Russell, the actor, and a hockey dad at the same time, which is a real job. I was a good hockey dad. I was a very bad baseball dad. Okay, <laughs> interesting. But I was a good hockey dad because I didn't know that game as I loved the game. Um, and my only wish and hope for him was that he wouldn't become a goaltender. Yeah. And the, I think it was the third time he stepped on the ice, he was about four or five. The, the coach looks up to me and goes, he wants to put the pads on. I said, no, man. Yeah. <laughs> Just let him skate out and have some fun. Can't when lose I, if you don't get scored on. And that's what he said. <laughs> Next thing I know, the rest of the team's down there, he's standing in front of the goaltender, keeping that puck out of the net. <laughs> So he was he was born to born to get never the missed net. my dad never missed a game. That's was, fantastic. Yeah, it was awesome. I uh, I would miss so many. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hope they get into sports just so I can miss them. Goldie made everyone too. I'll oh, tell you God, what. Love no, her. Yeah. Uh, another thing about a show like this, you know, obviously it's a it's sci-fi. Um, you know, a lot of special effects. You do the work as actors. Uh, you must feel good about what you do, and then you must have felt so good when you actually saw the finished product. And because again, you don't get to have the benefit of the final effects until you see it. It must have been so exciting. It was very exciting and also very just affirming because it, in my head, I was always going, well, if I suck, the monsters are gonna be sick. <laughs> yeah. you know, the monsters are gonna be awesome. And that's the backstop. And then as you start watching, you're like, I hope the monsters are good because I wasn't that good in that scene. <laughs> uh, yeah, like uh, watching with a critical eye. But Apple was never gonna let it be anything but great. And so I, I always had a lot of... Uh, it's fun to, yeah, it's fun. it is fun to see the outcome of it, especially now. Lynette, what is it, Friday, the last one's on. 
and it's got a the last, eight, nine, and ten are bang up finish on this thing, and it's got a great last. Great end. <laughs> it's got a great That's ending. Great. On it. Yeah, it really does That's have a great last. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Thank you guys for being. What a joy to have you both together. Thank you. Hey man, thanks for yeah. being here. Very Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs> That's Kurt Russell, Wyatt Russell, season finale, Monarch. Next Friday, January 12th on Apple TV Plus. Night Swim, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Blumhouse in theaters now. Stick around. We'll be right back with David Chase.